What's up, YouTube? This is another episode of ASAP Head Info. Um, first one in... I don't even remember how long. I'm not even going to say why. I don't know. But this will be a uh, response or... Con no, contest entry. Sorry. Moving around a lot. But yes, content... Contest entry. Tired as crap right now. Um, to JW Heiser's contest uh and he wants us to talk about how we got into the hobby um and uh other things right now um so I'll go ahead and talk about the hobby talk about why I like the hobby and other things really hate this lighting on Poseidon's tank um, where is he? There he is. Nope, nope, where is he? But anyways, uh, how I got into the hobby. Long story, I mentioned this in one of my Q&A videos. Um, somebody asked me, but the one, the thing that actually, like, got me into the hobby, um, was my old betta fish, Charlie. Um, he really got me into the hobby, and I slowly got sucked into it, from getting, you know, fish this big to fish that big, so, um, yeah, swimming around behind me, gonna have to turn his lights off early, cause he's just gonna be getting super stressed out during this video, um, but my very first tank, sorry, I, but sorry, I completely forgot to mention this in the Q and A video. Um, but uh, I, for my fifth birthday, sadly, I regret my parents letting me do this. But for my fifth birthday, I got a ten-gallon tank. Put random fish. I don't really remember all of them. All I know is I had. An African dwarf frog. I had uh, a couple silver hatchet fish. Um, hmm. I don't know some black and white striped cichlid. I have no idea what it was. It could have been a convict cichlid or something. I don't know. Uh, but I regret ever having that tank. But yeah, that didn't get me into the hobby at all. Um, that fish. Charlie got me into the hobby, um, and why I like the hobby, um, I mean, it just gives you something to do during the day, I mean, there's just days that there's nothing to do, um, so on those days, you know, days I just want to keep busy, I come in here and I do the water changes, or just simply look at the fish, um, I just love all the different unique fish that there are. So many different species, all the way up from the mi all the way from the micro fish like phoenix rasbors and chili rasbors, all the way up to big fish like dovi and gar. So many different species of cichlids and platys and other fish like that like those types, um, and I'm not even only in the fish hobby, I'm a little ways into the reptile stuff, um, I got my snapper up there, and I got Alex up there, freaking tired as crap right now, um, got home from a short trip that we made to some really terrible place where I pr probably got, like, some form of heat stroke or something, I don't know. Uh, you know, talking about the hobby is definitely a great, great, awesome thing. Um, I love talking about it with people, as long as these people actually know what they're talking about. I don't want to be hearing a bunch of crap you know, you can throw, you know, a big guy like this guy, where is he, a big guy like him, 
in a 30 to 40 gallon tank, you know who you are if you're watching this. That, whoever told you that, that is bull crap. Think about this. This fish will potentially get 15 inches. A 40 gallon tank is uh, 36 inches long and 16 inches tall. Uh, which means if it were to like be sitting up like this in the tank, one inch from the bottom, and it would be taking up a little bit less than half the place, leaving it no swimming room. The only thing a 40 gallon would be good for, Jaguar or cichlid wise, is the sheer width of it. It's a good solid 18 inches, which is very good. Um, but really, I wouldn't keep a Jaguar cichlid permanently in anything smaller than a 75. Now, he's currently in a 55, but he's only 10 inches right now. So, um, so he's good until I can upgrade him. Um, which I'll hopefully be doing soon. ASAP. It's in my name. YouTube name, that is. Uh, and... But yeah, it's just awesome talking about the hobby. Jeez, I need to stop yawning. Stop yawning. Okay. I think I'm awake now. Hopefully. Bullet, come here. Come here. Come here, you dog. Dog's here with me. Like usual. Hanging out. Say hi, Bullet. No, 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 no. We can't make out on camera. We can't do that. It's going on the internet. At least 20 people's gonna see this, man. Yes, yes, mm hmm I know, I know. I know. Yeah, that's why I thought. No, 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 bleh, bleh. Stop. I'm trying to talk about the hobby. No, get out of my face. <laughs> trying to talk about the hobby. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, you dog. We're not talking about dogs. Okay, well, anyways, I'll try to entertain him and entertain you at the same time. Uh, so, really. Um, if you're gonna keep cichlids in a 40 gallon tank permanently, I would definitely have to say the best way to go is anything, um, 10 inches max, probably. Um, you know, I can't really think of too many off the top of my head. I'm no professional at, uh, cichlids. I mean, it's kind of what I prefer to keep. Um, but maybe a Salvini, or Salvini, however you want to pronounce it, um, from what I've heard, they get 9 to 10 inches, I don't know, they're very pretty fish, um, nice yellow colors, yellow and black, um, you could do an African cichlid tank, you could, uh, you could do, um, a big ram tank or something, or, um, jeez, dog. Alright, get away, man. Get away. Um, trying to think of some more, but yeah, I mean, there are still a lot of possibilities as far as 40 gallon tanks go. You just can't put giant monsters in, in there that's, you know, 15 plus inches. Um,. Oh jeez, I got it again. Oh, I need to keep myself awake at least for this video. Um. So yeah, there's a lot of possibilities, and I guess I'll get into a lot of just random stuff. Uh, that's with the hobby. Um, your favorite fish to keep, not species-wise, but just like type area section, probably cichlids, 
He's my one and only cichlid I've ever kept that I am sure that it was a cichlid. Um, but large cichlid at least. Um, and he is definitely a great animal to keep. Um, you know, I'm going to stop the video real quick and I'm going to put it to a front view where you're not looking at my ugly mug. So, I guess, blast. Anyways, back where I was, um, large cichlids is definitely what I like to keep. He's definitely a great fish to keep, um, except he is, uh, he's definitely a big handful, I mean, frankly, don't know how much longer I can take his, like, ridiculous attitude. I mean, I have seen aggressive fish, I've seen dovi and all these other fish acting up. I've never seen a fish act like he does, like... He usually doesn't do this on, like, what he does on camera, because whenever I'm filming, it's always really late at night, so he's usually a bit tired, um, but during the day, he is absolutely terrible, um, so, I, I mean, of course, you know, I'm not just gonna go and get rid of the guy, but, I mean, if he becomes to the point where he's just impossible to keep. I mean, he might actually have to go. Probably not, though. I just love this guy too much. I'll just have to trudge through all the crap he's been giving me. Um, still having problems with his tanks. I did another water change, and yet his water's foggy again. Might have to do another water change tonight, so that's gonna suck. Um, just gonna, you know, trudge through all the bad crap that your fish giving you. You know, in the end, it's just pure enjoyment keeping these guys. Ooh, that is actually the first time I've ever actually gotten him to do a true glass bang. Um, so definitely keep these amazing fish. They're beautiful, they're large, um... They vary in personality, I mean, just cause he is just really, really freaking mean, uh, doesn't mean all of them are. I mean, a good majority of Jags are gonna be real mean like this, but there might be a miracle one day, and there might be a, a really nice one that actually lets you pet it. I mean, he's let me kind of stroke him on the back around there. You know, he's always watched my hand whenever I do it, but he's let me do it before. Um, so, I guess I don't really have anything else to say. Um, hope I win the contest. First contest I uh, will have ever won. But of course, that's not up to me. It's apparently up to this website I've never heard of. Uh, completely forgot what it was called, so... Go check out all the other hobbyists on YouTube, Aquatic Support System, uh, JW Heiser 1302, Conway, uh, you know, all these other guys. I can't really think of their names right now because I'm just terribly tired. Um, so enjoy yourselves, enjoy the hobby, respect the hobby, respect the hobbyists. Most importantly, respect the fish, and I'll see you next time.